Why, hello dear viewer, welcome to another video, an unscripted one again because first of all I like unscripted videos because that means less work for me to do and also I'm still working on that collab with Stizzle which will be the next video probably. We're working on a script and we have some, we have a general idea and I'll guess you'll be very intrigued as a small preview I can say it will be about the vault mentioned in the newest blog post by Team Cherry. It will definitely be an interesting video, a lot of speculation and lore and you know all that stuff which you seem to like, which I also like, which is good. But today's video is going to be a small video, I have a lot of work to do at the moment and I'm sad that I have not posted for a few weeks but the problem was that first of all it was holidays and uh, Afterwards, Merry Christmas to you all. <laughs> I hope you had a good, uh, good time with your families or your friends or, or alone. I, I don't know, but I, ho I just hope you had a good time, and I hope you're enjoying your holidays or something, or have enjoyed them. I don't know, but whatever. Um, yes, and today's topic is going to be a small one, but a, a question mostly, focused around the central question: What about Hello Nest? Hello Nest. Or do you say hollowness? Ah, never mind. What about howlness? You know, the, the first world which we visited in Hall Knight 1, the first game. What about it? You might ask yourself. Well, how does it come into play with Silk Song? This is a bit of a, well, speculative thing to do because uh, we do know that some elements of the last first game are going to come back. We know that our main protagonist is actually a character from the last game, which is always good because we have some information on her and know her character a bit, and so that's of course central, and I mean, as I said many times before in my videos, Hornet's going to discover her past and her relationship made with the king or with the weavers, I don't know, I don't care. But you know the, the, you know it already, you know it. You know, some things from the old game probably will come back in this game as either law or maybe well yeah probably law or maybe uh, backflash I don't know or flashback flashback backflash no. seem to mix up those words well never mind um but what about other stuff now there has been talk in the fandom about potential characters from the first game that might make a return in the second game people tend to like the characters from the first game that's why it was so popular but the problem is bringing those characters back in that context oftentimes wouldn't make sense. You see, people have enjoyed Cornifer as a map maker and his wife, but bringing them back to Farloom in the second game wouldn't really make much sense, right? I mean, Farloom is quite a bit away from what we've seen. It's far away from Halnest and not really like a travel point you would probably go to. There is a question of how much the communication between these two kingdoms was. Was the Pale King perhaps from Farloom originally? Or were there other people from Farloom who then, you know, talked in Hownest about it? Did, did the scholars of Hownest even know of Farloom, like Monomon? Who knows? It, I don't know. There's no mention of Farloom in the first game, so probably no, there's not really any close connection between these two kingdoms. It would have been fun to see a dynastic line of the Pale King, so perhaps his brother ruling Farloom, uh, the, the stale king? I don't know. That, uh, yeah, that sounds awful. The male king. Ah, that, yeah, that's perfect. Very smart. <laughs> and um, the question remains, will we see characters from the first game? And I think there could be a few. Some have speculated Zote, which I think is damn near impossible. Like, why would that guy come to Farloom? He probably couldn't even survive the journey to that kingdom. So why would he even go? Then there's the whole fact that, you know, most likely bugs who are granted intelligence by the Pale King, they can't really leave the kingdom because then they would become brainless again, you know? They would probably lose their mind. Except if they're somehow protected or, well, not from Hownest originally, like Cornifer or Tiso or Cloth or something. So, are there any other characters that might come? Well, definitely or most likely, it's not, well, it's not 100% sure, but it most likely is. Uh, Mr. Mushroom. Yes, indeed. Mr. Mushroom is a side character in the first game. Basically, like a little mini quest with no reward at the end. 
you just travel through different areas of the kingdom of Hounders and you see Mr. Rob Mushroom, you talk to him a bit if you've got like a certain um, certain charm equipped, then you can talk to him. And he'll basically say to you random stuff which makes no sense, except I think the last one. Um, I have heard speculation that, you know, you can decipher what he's saying so that it somehow makes a bit of sense in a certain context. But honestly, for me, it's mostly gibberish, so um, I couldn't pull anything from it except for maybe the last one. You know, somehow I, f I felt kind of emotional when he went away, when he like shot up into the air and left, and in the end, you can see him flying over the kingdom to somewhere else. Perhaps to follow. Maybe he's going to be like a staple in this series. I mean, this series until now consists of one release game with. DLCs and well one unreleased game so who knows maybe he won't make a return maybe he was just a gag in the first one and we'll never see him again who knows we're going to see Hornet again which I already mentioned so that's a plus we'll probably see a few figures um, from Hornet's backstory maybe in flashbacks as I said or maybe even in game we could see uh, a few weavers who knows I mean, we didn't see really any in the first game except one lonely one still roaming around the Weaver's Den, but otherwise we could see new ones, new characters, which could be interesting, like a family relationship between Hornet and her close relatives, the Weavers, who knows? Other than that, I mean, it's pretty much all on the table. They could all make a return. There's potential that they just left Hounders because they were unhappy and such for a new kingdom to gain their stuff. I mean, perhaps if you have the um, option that you that cloth doesn't die in that one ba uh, boss battle with the traitor lord, potentially she could come back in Falu. But then again, how does it work? They did mention. I, I don't know if it's completely written down official, but whatever. I think they mentioned that they uh, wanted to get the law of the second game, so of Silk Song so that every ending of the first game fits. Which is good, you know, whichever ending you've had, you can just start off right away with Silk Song. You don't need extra information. The problem will just be, uh, what about the different choices that you could have made during the game? I mean, what if Claus does return? Then that will technically make it canon that she doesn't die in battle. Who knows? Probably she won't return though. Anyway, um, what are your ideas? Do you think any characters from the first game will appear, and if so, which ones? How will the first game affect the second one, and what developments will we possibly have with our main character, Hornet, on her journey through the vast lands of Farloom? Give me your answers down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this little unscripted video of mine. Um, be excited for the cola, which I'm still, uh, which me and Stizzle are still working on. Be very excited because it's going to be very good. I think. I think you're going to enjoy it very much. And so I'll leave you now to it. Speak soon.